going to start list views in Android. And list views are where things get interesting because list views are where the state of your data structure and the state of what's on the screen are no longer exactly correlated. They're correlated, but they're not exactly correlated. So here's our data structure. It's just a list of strings. Okay, and it's they happen to correspond to Grateful Dead albums, but it, do, it doesn't really matter. We have this, this immutable list. Okay, and we're in main activity. And we come in and on create, and we do the same things we always do. Call super, call set content view, and initialize the toolbar. Here we're doing things a little bit, a little bit more panache. So first of all, let's take a look at activity main. That's our layout, activity main. Here's our preview. So it's, it's nothing super special here. We got a coordinator layout, which is like a frame layout, but um, sort of reacts to certain system events. Inside, we've got a linear layout with an app bar, a toolbar, and this list view. We just call this the list view. And you can see that the system doesn't really know what to show for this list view. It doesn't know what items are going to go in there yet. It doesn't want to hazard a guess. So when we're initializing the toolbar, we've been calling set support action bar. We still do that. Uh, now we're actually setting the icon and we're setting it to this drawable list black 24. This guy. And I, I showed you in a previous video uh, how to import icons and you should start to get familiar with that because it's a really nice way to make your programs look good. So that's our little icon for a list. Let's go back to my activity. All right, we're setting the title, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and this is telling us, uh, yeah, to use property syntax. Now, the key to understanding a list view is understanding that there are two different things. One is a data structure, which in this case is a list, and it's often going to be some kind of list. That list might come from a network server. That list might come from a database, but there's some kind of list. And then a subset of that list is displayed on your screen. And how we manage the coordination between the subset that's on the screen and the actual list is the mindset you need to get into in order to understand list views. So the data structure that helps us adapt the list data structure to the on-screen um, records, view records, they're, they're view objects. Each, each row in a list is a view object that represents uh, an item in your list. Uh, that, that data structure that, that manages these uh, two different worlds is called an adapter because it adapts your data structure to the views. And in this case, we're using a simple array adapter, which is built into Android, an array adapter of strings, and we're passing it a context object because lots of things want context and we're a uh, activity. So we're just going to use this. Um, here, we don't often use stuff from the Android namespace, but occasionally it's, it's useful. You can, there are occasional icons in the Android namespace and some other things, but this is the uh, simple list item one, and you can go look at that XML for that. It's you know available, and it's it's pretty simple. But I just don't want to get into it. It's just um, gives the system some XML uh, to specify the layout of every row. We're gonna start specifying the XML for every row uh, soon, but we're leaving that out for now. And then I pass it a, an array, a list of strings. So I'm letting the adapter sort of do all the work here. So I'm creating this adapter here. I'm setting it, this the list view, if you recall, that was the name of, uh, that we got in, uh, um, um, in the XML. And you know, the list view is from activity main.xml. So that's uh, an import and the system is calling find view by ID for us. We're setting up the adapter that it needs an adapter. The adapter has the data structure in it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set an on item click listener. So it's not an on click listener. It's an on item click listener because the list view has a lot of items and that on item click listener is going to be an adapter view on item click listener. 
and it's going to pass us a bunch of things. Now, there's some stuff going on here that <coughs> you might not have been paying much attention to in terms of Kotlin. This is uh, a lambda, an anonymous function, that is taking one, two, three, four arguments, and here is the body of the function. Uh, these arguments, we don't even know what the types are. Uh, we don't have to specify them here. Um, that's it. No. Okay. You can you can look up the documentation for adapterview dot on item click listener if you want to find out the types of these things. If you don't use it, a Colin has what I consider sort of an annoying anti feature where if you don't use the name of a parameter, it tells you to turn it into underscore. The name gives you some idea of what it is and what the type is, and so I, I like to keep it around, so I just put it around in a comment, but I don't I don't like the compiler complaining at me, so I took them out. Uh, the things, the uh, parameters we're getting to this function are an adapter view and a position. Those are the important things. So, and we're passing in these arguments. We now create this string where uh, we put the position that is being passed in i, and then we are also getting the item at that position. And the item is gonna be a string because that's what we're passing in, this array of strings. So the item at zero is the Grateful Dead, blah, 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 and so on. And then we put that information in a toast, which will say you selected item and the number and then the actual string value of that item. Down here we have uh, information for the menu. We're using a menu, uh, possibly for the first time. We go down here, take a look at what these menu items look like. We have a bunch of icons and uh, you specify what order you want the icons in with this sort of number. So these, this number goes up and we're telling it uh, I guess it, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like always, let's use, let's use if, so if, if there's room, uh, use, uh, the icon, um, otherwise you can use the name, but we want icons, they look good, and, uh, we're using these, these icons from the, uh, drawable folder, and I, I, showed you how to do this in a different video, but getting icons are a pretty nice way to up the polish level of your app. Let's, let's see where, where this garbage can come from. Delete black. So these are vector icons, which means they look good at any resolution. So very convenient. Okay, let's actually run this and see what happens. Get our phone up here and we will run our app. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. And now, so we have this list. So this list of strings and it's sort of formatted in this nice way. And we can click and you selected item seven, Europe 72. Now notice, you know, when Europe 72 is the top, it says you selected item seven because it's number seven in the list, not because it's number seven on the screen. But that's the important difference that we're talking about here. The adapter knows about every single album name, but the screen and the view hierarchy only knows about the albums that are on the screen at, at one time. So uh, up to 21 items in this case. Okay, and then this uh, exits, and if we run this again. Uh, if we uh, click one of these, we will start an activity, uh, which takes us to uh, a new demo. But that is uh, for a different time in a different video. Okay, so this is where we enter the wonderful world of lists. <laughs>